ziua, bine ați venit! Suntem la conferința de presă înaintea mintei cu secții de mâine seară, din această etapă a preocului. Înainte de a-i da cuvântul domnului Aralambus, vreau să amintesc că biletele pentru meciul cu parul de sâmbătă sunt disponibile online, încă de aseară, și deja s-au gândit destul de multe. Deci ne mulțumim suporterilor pe această cale. Îl rog pe domnul Maralandu să vă spună ceva despre jocul pe care, dacă sunt întrebări, vă spun la discuție cu plăcere. Bună seara! We start uh, the second part, the second round of these uh, playoffs uh, that we knew from the beginning that uh, all the games will be tough and you see that uh, in all the matches points are uh, missing and one from all the opponents. Uh, we face a team that uh, really from my point of view uh, likes to play football. And uh, we saw also in the last game, even though they lost the game, uh, they were the team that uh, had the ball possession in most of the game, a team that won uh, Rabid away. So we know again that uh, it will be uh, very tough for us. But I repeat, uh, my players are uh, in a good shape in these playoffs, and I hope that tomorrow we'll show our good face again in order to win the three points that will be. Uh, very important as we are getting closer uh, to the end of the, this championship. Stepanescu will finally play against FCSB. Is he the most dangerous player? Uh, we don't see individual players. For sure, we analyze the team and uh, Sepsi, I repeat, is a team that, uh, especially with this coach, they play nice football as, uh, as a team. And um, whoever they decide to play, Uh, for us, it's the same. Uh, we've, uh, we know that uh, the way they play, and uh, this is the only thing. It's a new round when you can become a champion mathematically if you win and uh, Krajova didn't How is uh, for you this uh, this uh, pressure? Pressure for what? Pressure uh, in this kind of teams, I, I always say that you have pressure every single day, no matter. Uh, If you are first, if you are uh, fifth, in this kind of teams like us, uh, in big clubs, you must have pressure every, every single day, even in the trainings. So uh, tomorrow we'll go to the game exactly in the same way that we go in all the games, with the target to win the three points. And uh, this is the way that we see from the beginning of this season, uh, this championship, step by step. But you are very close to winning. But we didn't win it yet. We are very close, but we didn't win it yet. So we need big effort uh, to win it because we know that, uh, and I said it, I, I am saying it all the weeks, that until you don't win something in football, nobody guarantees to you that you will win it. Is also possible that Cosmi Matei would uh, be again on the field against you after he was suspended? How is this uh, matter? How does it matter to you? We see our team mostly. You know, the most important for us is our team, how we will play. And uh, I don't know who will be available uh, for Sepsi. Uh, and I repeat, they have good players, but uh, we see the games. Uh, the most important for us is how we will do the things in the pitch. How important is it for your team? You said you talk about your team. How important is it for your team that you discovered Felipe and Otis? Um, look, uh, Felipe will be out for tomorrow. He will not be. Uh, he's not uh, ready to join us yet. Uh, Ovi will be with us. He will be. He's totally 100%. So he'll be with us. And uh, you know, as many players as we have, uh, as better is for us, like coaches, to have solutions. So we would like all the players uh, to be fit. Now we lost Kiri the last game. He will be out. And. Um, We don't know yet. We don't know yet. Uh, to be honest, uh, he is. Um, he decided to, in order. I mean, uh, he could stay out all the season, but he will uh, try his best in order to recover before. And this is something that shows uh, his passion for football, uh, how hungry he is. And uh, in this age, you cannot find. In his age, especially, you cannot find these characters very easy. 
and um, he will uh, try his best in order to come back before the end of the season so he plays some games with us. And I wish he recovers as fast as possible because you know very well that uh, he is a very important player for the dressing room, for the team, and for many reasons we want him with us. With uh, just a few options on the bench for you, in this period it's hard to play on three, three days, rain so often. Uh, we don't see uh, the next games, you know, we only see the tomorrow's game, we have options for tomorrow, we are, uh, we are happy with the squad we have, so there are no excuses at this moment, we, don't, we never uh, try to find excuses, and um, I'm really happy with the players that I have, I repeat, I would like to have all the squad fit, but unfortunately, uh, you see all the teams have different problems, especially in this uh, moment of the championship, and uh, no excuses. We cannot say nothing. And you are almost uh, at the end of the season. You talk about the squad. Have you decided what transfer will you do? We don't have time. No. We, don't, we don't have time for this. No, me personally, no. So is there no player you would like to, to bring? I don't have time to think about this now. Uh, we play Wednesday. We play then. Uh, you, we have uh, games, uh, very important games for uh, our club or for this season. So. There is no time now to think many things, you know, and this is the reality. I know there are a lot of fans of Inter Milan fans. Did you celebrate their performance here? Many fans were in the club. Well, yeah. uh, okay, we celebrate. We are happy because uh, you speak about Meme mostly, no? Because he's crazy with Inter. <laughs> okay. Uh, to be honest, the only thing I was thinking yesterday, I was a bit jealous that they were uh, celebrating and I miss these moments and I hope that uh, we will have these moments as, as well. Because when you see these moments celebrating, for sure I would like to be in their position as well. And um, I hope that we will be in the position as well uh, this year. I don't know how, when and what, but the only thing we want is to win the title. This is uh, the only target. We don't uh, know when, if it, ha if it will happen and when it will happen. You have a good friend there, I think, uh, Chauhanoglu. He celebrated on a Romanian song. Do you have something prepared for the championship? Do you uh, want to celebrate on a song like Chauhanoglu did on the Romanian one? It's nice uh, that I was happy also that he celebrated in the Romanian uh, song. It shows that maybe he has some connection in Romania. Maybe it's me the connection. <laughs> no, uh, it happened. It's a song that uh, he likes. And uh, I'm really happy for uh, Hakan because he's really my friend and I'm happy for him. We didn't have time yet to speak, but during the day I believe that we will have a chat. Me? Yes. Of course. But I'm not, I don't have a good voice. Song? I have, but... Uh, it's, no, no, no. What song will you play if you win the title? Let's take it easy. Let's take it easy. Okay, you are very close to winning the title. Uh, can you tell us how important is Gigi Bekali in winning the title this season? What do you mean? How, what was his, um, his part? He gave everything that we needed in the club. So he's the owner of the club and he never, uh, he never said no in nothing that we asked him to do. So he gave us everything, more than, uh, sometimes more than what we expected. And um, we are really uh, happy uh, to have this person in football and in Romanian football and uh, in our club. Financial price about what? I mean, bonus. For who? For me or for the team, you mean? For you, for you and the For me, I don't care. I don't care. For the team, for the players, he can give as much as he can. But for me, it's not my target, the money. My target is to win the championship. Money is on the side. If you win, and this is what uh, I try to explain sometimes to my players and to everybody about championships. When you stop football, and after your career, the thing that stays more, the money is good, is one part. 
But when you have trophies and when you are champion, when you win championships, these are the most beautiful memories that players can have after playing football. So I don't believe that anybody thinks about money in this moment, and uh, they are clever enough to understand what value gives to them, to their career and to their life, winning a championship with Fejese Bey. Uh, it's uh, Mr. Bordelaro is a person that I really uh, respect a lot. I met him personally, and uh, I don't know when you meet some people, you know, from the first uh, contact, you feel the, the energy sometimes. And uh, really, I felt very nice from the first moment that I met him, and uh, I respect him a lot. I repeat, and him, and the coaches in the national team, Eddie, and the rest of the staff. Um, for sure, it's something nice to hear good words from this kind of people, especially that um, uh, they are in the highest position in the in the football of uh, Romania. And uh, okay, for sure, he congratulates us about the performances that we are making uh, until now, not for the championship yet, because we are not the winners. And the only thing I can say is a big thank you to him and respect. This is all. And for our fans, unfortunately, tomorrow we only have, as I know, 404 tickets. No, uh, I hope we had more because I'm sure that if as many tickets our fans had, they will be in uh, in Sepsi Stadium tomorrow. But um, uh, the only thing we would like to do is to make these guys that come tomorrow to help us on our side of the players happy, and the rest of the people that don't have a ticket. Again, to make them happy. Yes, thank you, thank you too.